What would you do if you found out there are strangers secretly living in your house with you? Welcome back to Movies Explained, today's film is a crime drama horror from 2019 titled I See You. Mindy and Alec are froggers, a name used to describe squatters who secretly live in a house at the same time with the owners without being detected. They have chosen Detective Greg Harper's house as their next location. Following the news that Jackie had an affair, Connor and Greg are still furious with her. Greg smashes his phone through a window in desperation, still trying to figure out how to handle his marriage moving forward. As Greg looks out the window he sees a mug on the roof, he goes out and grabs it while Mindy and Alec duck down to avoid him, Greg is disappointed to find cigarette butts inside, thinking Connor started smoking. While the Harpers are out to work, the window repairman arrives and Alec persuades Mindy to let him in since he doesn't know who they are. Lieutenant Mariah Davis informs Greg at work that a second boy has gone missing, Justin Witter, who is 10 years old, and Michael King, who is 12 years old, who went missing a month before him. Davis wants Greg to be the lead detective on the case along with Detective Ray Spitsky. Jackie returns home from work and notices all the silverware are missing, she's terrified when she runs into the window repairman, he calms her down and explains about the window. As he's leaving, Jackie asks who let him in and he replies that it was her daughter, which leaves Jackie puzzled since Connor is an only child. When Greg gets home from work, Jackie informs him that the silverware has been stolen by the window repairman. She also informs him of the repairman's claim that a girl let him in. Greg thinks she's crazy, why would a repairman steal silverware? As Greg walks upstairs, he notices a picture is missing from one of the frames. He pops a couple of sleeping pills as he notices the hamster has been let out of his cage. He follows it inside the closet, while inside, Alec locks him in. Greg thinks it's Connor messing around and begins banging and yelling until Jackie hears him and lets him out. He's puzzled when Jackie informs him that Connor is not home. Greg has had a long day and decides to just go sleep in the guest room. Jackie wants him to return to the bedroom since Greg has been sleeping on the couch ever since Jackie's affair. In the middle of the night, Alec sneaks into Greg's room and urinates on him while he's deep asleep with the sleeping pills. Greg is awakened by a call from Lt. Davis, who asks him to report to the station. Upon removing the covers, he discovers that his bed is wet, but he doesn't have time to assess the situation, so he rushes to the station. Lt. Davis informs Greg and Spitz that the green knife they found at the location where Justin Witter went missing is the same type of knife used by a serial killer, Cole Gordon, whom Spitz put away 15 years ago. The serial killer's attorneys have filed a motion for a mistrial since learning about the two missing boys incident. Lt. Davis believes they might be dealing with a copycat, but still wants them to go interview the two boys that escaped from the serial killer 15 years ago, Braun and Travers. In the morning, Todd, the man that Jackie had an affair with comes to the house to see her. He tells her that he's back in town and how much he loves her. Jackie tells him to stop because her son is home and everything between them is over. As Todd tries to change Jackie's mind, Alec drops a mug from above that lands on his head. Jackie takes him to the basement to clean up his wound. She tells him to wait until Connor goes to school so she can take him to the hospital. As Jackie gives Connor a ride to school, Greg sneaks into the house and bludgeons Todd to death and leaves. Mindy is hiding out in the basement and witnesses everything. Jackie returns back home and is terrified when she finds Todd dead on the ground, she waits until Greg gets home from work and explains how he came over to talk and the mug falling on his head, but she insists that the cut wasn't serious enough for him to die. She says she didn't call the police or an ambulance fearing it might jeopardize Connor, since she believes it was Connor that dropped the mug. Greg tells Jackie that if anyone finds out, he can't protect Connor. They take Todd's body to the woods and bury it. At the house, Connor hears noise from the basement, he goes down to find the silverware turning in the laundry. As he comes back up, he receives a message on his computer from an anonymous person asking whether he knows what frogging is. Connor quickly searches the internet and is terrified when he learns that it's people living in someone's house. Seconds later, Alec knocks him out and begins tying him up. Mindy comes in from the basement to tell Alec what she saw, but she is shocked when she sees what Alec is doing. Mindy tells him she's calling the cops and walks out, but when Alec grabs her, she falls and is knocked unconscious. Alec drags Connor to the bathroom and leaves him in the bathtub, and after, puts Mindy in the trunk of Greg's car. As he's about to start the car, the garage door opens, Jackie and Greg are back. He hides in the garage as they enter the house, shortly after, Jackie's scream is heard as she discovers Connor in the bathtub. Greg instructs her to drive straight to the hospital. As Jackie speeds away, Greg gets in the other car and drives off without knowing that Mindy is inside. As Greg's driving, Mindy wakes up and is confused when she sees that she's inside Greg's car. 
She goes through Greg's bag and finds a soccer jersey with the name Witter and a bag of green knives and realizes that Greg is the kidnapper of the boys. Greg arrives somewhere in the middle of the woods, and after he exits, Mindy exits as well. She calls 911, but the reception is poor, and she only manages to tell the operator that she is with the kidnapper of the two little boys before the phone cuts out. Up ahead she notices a trailer with lights inside, she sneaks inside and starts looking around and is startled when the two missing boys start pleading for help from the locked closets. They inform her that he's planning on killing them and he's out digging a hole as they speak, Mindy calms them down and tells them she's going to help, but before she's able to do anything, Greg pulls a bag over her face and takes her to his car. Inside he finds Mindy's video camera and sees how they have been living in his house. He drives her back to the house, Alec watches as they pull up. He takes her inside and wakes her up, telling her to stand up. As Mindy stands up, she begins to beg for her life, but Greg executes her. He places a gun next to her to make her look like an intruder as he goes looking around the house for Alec. As he walks around he sees the pictures that had been removed from the frames, on the wall with their eyes cut out. Alec turns on the record player to lure him downstairs. As Greg comes down, Alec attacks him with an axe but Greg dodges him and the two begin fighting until Greg knocks him out with a metal bar. While Alex out, Greg stabs himself to make it look like an intruder attacked him inside the house. Alec appears a few minutes later, pointing the gun Greg had placed next to Mindy at him. Greg tries to convince Alec to lower his gun. As Alec gets closer Greg recognizes his face, and before he's able to say another word, Alec pulls the trigger. Spitsky walks in and sees Alec holding a gun standing next to Greg's body and shoots Alec. As Spitsky gets closer, Alec mutters Spitsky's name, which puzzles Spitsky. The police track the 911 call placed by Mindy and find the boys in the trailer. Spitsky is shocked when he finds the knives in Greg's bag, realizing his partner was the kidnapper this whole time. Meanwhile, Jackie and Connor arrive at the house to find a crowd of people and police officers gathered. As she walks in, Spitsky informs her of everything, and she is shocked. As the ambulance wheels out Alec, he has a flashback of an earlier time. He's walking with a friend on the train tracks when a stranger approaches them and gives him a green knife. We learn that Alec and his friend were the two boys, Braun and Travers, that had escaped from Greg years ago and that's why Alec had chosen Greg's house. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more videos.